Elevate was always the theme of the project, and uh, it's clear that it talks about elevation of the spirit, of the mind, in, in the body. So we knew that we had to do something uh, elevated, something important in that sense. Elevation, not just in terms of going high and having views, but also enjoying a kind of a spiritual oasis. As soon as you enter, uh, the first thing you see is the club and the welcoming uh, space, but immediately you can go down a ramp and immediately you can go down to your own private drop off, to your own core, to your own tower. Here, there's no cars. You go in to your lobby and essentially that's the end of car vision for the rest of your stay during uh, Elevate. Light is very important in all projects because projects are painted with light. The lobbies, which is such an important arrival moment, that's where we decided to cut out from the arcade, cut out from the still. The different towers are connected by this arcade, which is a wonderful piece of architecture in the sense that it's like a gateway connecting all the buildings or a passageway, I would say. Well, imagine we have about eight acres of green space without cars. So in the very center of that, the lung is the water spine. So there's some Mediterranean aspects like a theatrical sort of concept of exterior space, but also a very lush, green, uh, tropical landscape uh, with a lot of biodiversity, a lot of different plants uh, in one symphony of green that is what actually surrounds and provides the buffer for the construction. The pool has to be sunken in the sense that it provides shadow, it provides privacy, and also it creates a sort of climatologically a place which has a special temperature. So it's a place where you want to go and be in the water. So in that sense, we wanted to put it underground, yet connected to the sky. Let's say that all the amenities that are for the community are in three parts, which are the same in the sense that we all call it the club. So there's the retail area, which is convenient and it's shopping. We have the living room, which is the semi-private club, double height space, library space, very classical, inspired in some of the Sri Lankan trips that I have done to, to see the Jeffrey Bauer, the great master of uh, tropical architecture. And then it flows through the water, through the water spine to a cascade, which creates this constant sound of water into the swimming pool. We have two swimming pools, one for laps, one for entertainment. And then we have, of course, right near there, behind the cascade, creating a very fantastic effect, the sports area. And sports, we have squash, badminton, and then outside we have soccer, tennis. So it's a very sort of healthy ecosystem for, for life. The apartments themselves are thought so that the family life is in the center. So while the bedrooms and the nightlife, the night sleeping is on the sides, the center is for the family to gather and to enjoy a swing balcony that we have and to have the views overlooking the landscape. All the spaces of the apartment are cross-ventilated, so we take the natural cooling system, the natural breeze that comes through Gurgaon, and we channel it through what we call the Venturi effect, which is a way to create flows of air that actually cool down the temperature in a natural way, so you don't need to use the AC all the time. An elevated life is when you go home after a crazy day of work and you can switch on the lights, the blinds go up, the landscapes around uh, appear, and that you can be productive at that point of your day, when, when, when you are with yourself and when inspiration should come. So it's about that inspiring moment of coming back home whether you're alone with your, with your wife, with your husband, or with your family, but that you really feel that that is your house, your home. So what do you live for?